Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light here. I'll come at you with the reading. Today we have what are their true intentions and love. And I have oracle cards here for you, Sagittarius. Yes, definitely. And it's going to be for you and your person. <clears throat> you could be like uh, returning to somebody here or somebody's returning to you. And it could be some, it could be like a scene as a surrender. In other words, maybe they tried to fight it for a long time, right? You know, it could be, we have this card of surrender here, uh, Estefania, right, who is like Stephanie. Uh, basically, it's a very beautiful woman, and she's sitting here, and she's she had just read a letter, She Who Surrenders, Chains, bond, chains Bondage, and Release. But we have this other card about renewal, new path. I feel like somebody here, like, uh, probably wants to, this person probably wants to protect a union with you because we have excuse me boundaries right and we see this man here he looks like a Scot yes he does he looks like a maybe he's an Irishman but he's here with this kind of Celtic cross right he's standing here but he has this big long sword and he has these little kind of uh, looks like little flames kind of around his beautiful garden he looks like he's waiting for somebody or he looks like he is like standing here like and the river is there, and he looks like he's protecting this land. That's what he's doing. And this is why, kind of, you know, uh, the cross is there. Like, this is our village, and don't come in if you, you know, don't come in. It's also a number one, almost like a new beginning. Wow, you know, I feel like this person wants to <clears throat> come forward and protect something, and they are surrendering to this. Or this is you. And then we have this other card about this woman here who is like a uh, really funny looking to me. Yeah, kind of. But long story short, <clears throat> you know, the chess table is in front of her. Like somebody has been really kind of strategizing. And she is kind of half naked here. She looks sad. And the butterfly is leaving the cage. This card talks about if you really love somebody, let them go. Yeah, if you really, really love somebody, let them fly. And so I feel like your person, it's possible they are leaving another situation. It is a possibility. We also have uh, the butterfly here. This talks about kind of healing the inner child. It can talk about bringing a relationship to the next phase. And uh, this person is thinking about you a lot, Sagittarius. They are. I can tell in this reading. We also have uh, lost in space, needing direction. This person might feel alone and kind of just lost on some level because especially if they are kind of letting go of somebody else because this letting go card it is not about you Sagittarius they're coming to have a renewal with you unless you are that person in the reading and the reading is switched right it could be but these are two different people one has a renewal and one is being let go it looks like we have the four of wands this, this four of wands is like these two people Raising their hands together, uh, and they're holding something up, but long story short, this is a happy home, possibly in a country setting. Sounds so romantic when I hear that, right? Uh, I can't stand the urban, uh, not these days when, you know, you got to have uh, your Nazi papers to go to a restaurant. Yeah, to go anywhere. That's happening in a lot of major uh, metropolitan areas in the United States. If you're not living that, then I'm glad. But long story short, this looks really serene, right? And then, you know, the first card we had here was beauty, and here's the rose. This person is surrendering because they love you, and they see how beautiful you guys can be together. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. They could have been in bondage for a long time. And, you know, this surrender card talks about somebody who is releasing, who could be releasing somebody as well. So we have Yang here. We know this is about uh, manifesting. It's also number one. Can you believe this stuff? About a new beginning. This is manifesting a new beginning. And here's the hands. Like, give me that. I want to manifest this. Let me have that. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have the observer card. This person's probably watching you. Because I feel like somebody wants to come forward and they have already released somebody or they are asking somebody to release them. No kidding here. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius, please, and their person. We have the Justice card first. Okay. 
So what you want, Sagittarius, is this Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning in love. So you're waiting for this person or you're just hoping. Like, I don't know your situation. I don't know if this is your ex and you're kind of waiting for them to surrender another union and come be with you. Right? And in your fear is judgment. Like, maybe they're not going to make a decision to come. Or maybe you're not going to have a rebirth. Yeah. So let's look at their cards. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius' person. I'm just going to go ahead and use this deck here. Let's look at their... They have the Page of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Let's see what else. So here they are in their fear, their doubt, Sagittarius, is the Two of Cups. And this particular Two of Cups is a fear or a doubt of not being able to, like, lessen the emotional space or the emotional distance or the physical distance too between you and them. This is in their fear and their doubt. And interesting here about this release card about it talks about you know if you really love somebody kind of like let them go. Like if you really really love somebody then you know, it's kind of your duty to, like, let them live their life. If, if they're not choosing you, let them go, right? And so I feel like this person wants to be released by somebody because here she's opening the cage and releasing the butterflies. So this person wants to be released by somebody. It's showing up over here on this card. Uh, she who surrenders, release. But they want to be released so they can have this butterfly with you, Cap uh, Sagittarius, or this new beginning. Not really a butterfly, but a new beginning right so we have justice and the ten of pentacles and the king of cups maybe this person's married to somebody because you know these can be kind of marriage cards uh not really the king of cups though but let's look at uh let's see here sagittarius the five of wands queen of wands this is you you're showing up with the king of cups here What's on your mind here is, uh, I feel like whether or not you're going to receive this offer. Because the hand is, uh, is offering the cup, but this king of cups doesn't see. Seven of pentacles. <clears throat> I feel like what you are doing is you are just kind of wondering here if... Uh, if there's if you're gonna have justice yeah yeah you're looking at this am I gonna have justice am I gonna have I believe in your heart you probably feel like you deserve this person maybe because simply because you think there is beauty between you guys because you know this uh, rose is not it's not just beautiful but it's almost like there's a breakthrough behind it on the card like this kind of uh, beautiful like light that is showing uh, like a breakthrough kind of a spiritual breakthrough I feel like you in this reading Sagittarius you feel like somebody kind of belongs to you yeah it could be and this boundary cards can talk about somebody who thinks that somebody that they belong to somebody or somebody belongs to them right because he's protecting these this area here like like this, it belongs to me. This land belongs to us. So I'm protecting it. And here's the boundary. Yeah, boundaries can talk about protection, right? Of course. I feel like you are wondering, you could be determined to get your, you could even be determined to have your justice with somebody. To work things out with them and to have a union, right? You could. And the Seven of Cups. Mm-hmm. I feel like you are determined, but you are like wondering here if somebody has made a very hard choice, this person, I believe, to come forward. I feel like you're not sure here if this person has made that choice. If you can grow something with them, like you know you could grow grow, you know, grow something beautiful with them or have something beautiful with them, but you could be like, 
uh, like you know that, but you could just be kind of like, you know, wondering if they can actually like, maybe actually possibly just make a choice. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like for some of you guys, you know that this person probably has to be released by somebody or release somebody else. I feel like this person might be in chains. Yeah, like might be really in bondage because they want somebody to let them go, let them out of the cage right here. I feel like in this reading, this card says like a lot. It's one card. What's on your mind is the Page of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. You're wondering if this person's going to let you in. Or if they're going to come and ask you if they can come in or come back. Or if there's still a light shining for, you, for them. Like, are you still carrying a torch for me? Yeah, and what you want here, we have the Eight of Wands reversed. OMG with the Ace of Cups. You're hoping for this new beginning, but you know there has to be change for this person to come forward. That's what this is about. You're like, you know, they can't come forward until they release somebody. Let's see here. I feel like you are hoping. That's what you're doing. You're hoping for this. And we have the judgment card and the hierophant. This is your fear and your doubt. Look at your fear and you're going to have this union. You could be fearing here that uh, we have justice and judgment in this reading. Uh, it can this 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 can talk about like somebody could maybe be getting a potential divorce, right? But over here, you're fearing this person probably or doubting possibly. I just feel like you have doubts. I feel like you think this person's coming, but you still have a couple doubts. Yeah, about whether or not you're going to have a rebirth with them, King of Wands, and maybe whether or not they have the courage. This could simply be you. But the lion is center front on the card. Nine of cups. You're like you're doubting you're gonna have your wish. So let's get another card for you. I mean for your person. We're gonna pick up another deck because we used a lot of cards on you, Sagittarius. Although you're worth it, yeah. Let's see what we got. So they have the page of swords, the ten of cups, and the, what's on their mind is the eight of pentacles. For me, this is to be with you, to dedicate themselves to you. To protect this. Because they see how beautiful. This was the first card I picked here. This beauty card. So here they have the page of. They have the king of cups. We have the king of cups up here. They could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be them all in their thoughts here. Uh, just about love. Mm-hmm. I feel like they want to communicate probably with you. Queen of Cups. Wow, for me, I mean, your person might not be the Queen or the King of Cups, but you guys could be, uh, they could be, but I'm just saying, you guys could be like really soulmates here. We have the King and the Queen of Cups coming out together, and that's very, like, very rare. The Two of Swords, this is their energy. They don't know here if they're going to be like a power couple with you. <laughs> I feel like they don't, they're not sure here. I feel like this person wants to release or be released by somebody, but they don't know here if possibly they can have you the way they had you, or if you guys will end up being a really strong couple, something like that. They have the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups too. This is their current energy. And their energy over here could be also uh, Sagittarius with the Two of Swords here. It can be this energy where they're wondering about what to do about a, another situation, but they're like, well, my hands are tied here. I just kind of have to, like, I feel like in this reading, this person is releasing, I feel like they're kind of asking somebody to release them, kind of. But if they are not asking them, they're kind of hoping. But at the same time, even if they are not released, this person will release themselves. Yeah, they will. Yeah. They will release themselves. And so they, and because their current energy is the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, like, I want a brand new beginning. I'm going to put a lot of work into it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm so inspired. This is devotion, inspiration. I'm really going to make an effort. Two of 
to manifest this, the magician. And, what, and what's their challenge here is the hangman of the Ten of Pentacles. They might be married to a Piscean. We have the Ten of Pentacles up here. This person could have a family. And what they want is the Sun card. Well, let's see. We have the Nine of Cups. You have the same cards over here. You're fearing you're not going to have this wish. You guys are mirroring each other in a lot of ways. And so, you know, this is what they want. For me, it's happiness because you are their wish. I don't think this is clarity. I feel like this person is releasing somebody like right now or they just have or just something like that. I don't think this is about their clarity. I feel like this is about their joy and happiness because here they have the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles in their current energy. And here they are fearing they're not going to lessen the emotional, the distance between you guys. They're afraid of that. Yeah, they're afraid that they can't like do that and they're not going to have a new chapter with you. And this person could know on a general, kind of on a general, in a general way that if they don't release somebody that they're never going to have you. This person knows that. And they want to protect this. This boundaries card talks about protection. Yeah, it talks about somebody being proud and they want to protect something. That's what he's doing there. This little Celtic, he's not little, but this, you know, uh, the Celtic man, right? He's like, he's doing that. He's protecting and he has pride. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. This person, we have the treasury. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start this uh, Tree of Life Oracle here and we're going to complete it in the other reading. The return, wow, the witness. And we have the presence. This person misses you. And the warrior, wow, we're going to finish this. We're going to have five more cards down here. We're going to go ahead and, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, clarify these cards. And we're going to see how they feel about you, how they see the situation. And we're going to see their near future, who's in their environment. Yeah, we are. We're going to look at external influences, what you don't know about them, and their true intentions. Thanks so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And the link is below. Whoever this is, is coming soon. And, yeah, they need to kind of hurry up, though, because this, yeah. Thanks so much, you guys.